All right, so your video is all starting. All right. I'm yep. at five seconds. I'm at five seconds. Six, seven, my, eight, five, six, ten, seven, eleven, eight, eight nine, ten. All right, that'll be good. 11. It's it's okay if we're like a couple of seconds, you know, ahead of each other, but everything is like, yeah. <laughs> The first thing people are gonna hear is this yeah, counting. Yeah, of course there is. But it, <laughs> we can yeah, count. We can count. <laughs> I gave up after eleven. Yeah, no. Exactly. Uh, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ethan, also known as Shadowed Seventeen. Chris Poulet also. Let no, no, you go first. You. No, no, you go. Okay. And it's Chris Poulet, also known as Crispy Chicken Fourteen. And Eric Eklund as the Iron Patriot 1. And welcome to our first commentary on Conker's Bad Fur Day. A game that, you know, I really wish I had the N64 version so, you know, I could record it and stuff. But all I had was the Xbox version. Yeah, I don't even have the fucking game to begin with. Never played it. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I was too busy having a life. Hey, this game, hey, this hey, game was amazing. This game is my life. <laughs> Well, not just this game, but... <laughs> yeah, I love this game so much. Actually, this game was introduced All I know is that this game late. was made by a bun of, bunch of British people who really... Hey, hey. Take things a little too far. Those, they're my favorite gaming company. Yep, they make his Banjo-Kazooie games, and that's what he's all happy about. Woo! Oh, God, Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't really don't like you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a riveting commentary. I just know it. <laughs> our first video already tearing up our friendship. Exactly. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't need you guys. I'm dead on my own. Uh, jeez. <laughs> this whole song is taken out of uh, what you call it, Clockwork Orange. Good. I'm busy watching Inception. You're not watching Inception, are you? I actually no, am. Dude, get your ass back to the video now. <laughs> I'm watching the video. What, he's a king now? Well. Okay, lost interest back to Inception. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is all happening afterwards, and then the whole game is what happens. And the funny fact that this game all takes place in one whole day. Isn't that the same thing with, like, Red vs. Blue? How the beginning part of the series started oh, cool. within one week? And yet it's... They explain how it's been months and how they went into the future, which is several hundred years. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It takes all place in, like, a week. That's what This is a day. Takes. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. This whole game just takes place in one day. So it makes it just so interesting. This scene is completely different from the N64 scene, because in the N64 scene, Conker like had a cup of milk that he was drinking, and you know, I I think there was more people in the room, but I wasn't I'm not too sure. I have to like go back and look at that. It all started yesterday. Yep, all yesterday. <laughs> Oh shit, he said it. He said the title. <laughs> oh man, it, it's on now. Uh, Christ, yeah, most of the first part is gonna be, you know, a lot of cutscenes, but afterwards, I swear to God, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the good stuff. <clears throat> like the fucking Crim Reaper who talks about how, how he hates cats. Don't give it away! <laughs> Spoilers, there's a Grim Reaper that talks about cats in here. Spoiler alert! Ooh. Hello, sexy. <laughs> it's, it's funny too because in the um, in here, if you see on the back of her shirt, it actually says uh, it actually has the number sixty nine on it. Oh God. <laughs> the N sixty four version didn't have that. Not... Nice touch, rare. Nice touch. Oh my God, she's a blonde. Well, duh. Why wouldn't she be? All right, what's this part making fun of? Nah, this part's not really making fun of anything. It's just pretty much the beginning of the game, finally. Uh, behold, this whole game is actually based that, um, you know, Conker just turned 21 and everything like that, and now he's like a drinker and everything like that. 
It's just funny so, man, it all those other games that he did is like a clean little kid. Whatever. Yeah, originally it was actually supposed to be a actually a clean children's game, and then they scrapped it and decided to go with this. Oh, hold on a second. So he met up with some of his friends who are going to war, and then he decides to join them just for shits and giggles. Pretty much. I mean, I I don't know what that, but what point he turns twenty one, but it's at some point though. He turned 21 in two hours since the game started. <laughs> two hours ago, Conker just turned 21. Time to tank! <laughs> yes, yes, you go look for that toilet, Conker. Yeah, but it actually is. Fuck toilets, I'll use the sidewalk. <laughs> for her shadowing. You would, you fat fucker. <laughs> oh, God. He reminds me of one of those monks from Holy Python. He's about to like hit himself in the face. With that thing. <laughs> uh, come on, you have to say, think. Come on, a giant fucking tablet. He's staring at. I'm getting this distinct impression that he's about to slam it into his face. Yeah, I know what you mean. They just seriously though. <laughs> But even if he did smash that thing against his face, you know, it probably hurt like hell. Bees or I'm walking bees? Walking down the road. I'm walking down the road. I'm still fucking drunk. God, I need to get laid. I wouldn't be surprised if he already did. Yeah, I'm talking about me. <laughs> Fuck this guy. He just came from that way. Yeah, I know. That's what I. That's what I don't get. He just came from that way and decides to go back. He's drunk. Anything, he's drunk, and you know anything could happen. Anything can happen. Well, we'll see. Any, we'll see what you mean by anything can happen throughout the course of this game. <laughs> I wonder what happens next. Oh, the ultimate evil character, who probably looks like a complete and utter pussy and sounds like one too. <laughs> that's funny. Come on. You called him a pussy. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, come on, show it, show it, show it, show it. Oh, the rat king. Oh no, it's a wolf. Wolf, wolf it's a panther. Still looks like a, pussy. a panther, dude. That's a panther. Yeah, that's a panther. Dude, the Damn, the whole that's, villain's fuck. You will laugh at the whole villain's goal thing in here. You'll seriously will because you think oh, it's you hilarious. think it's all world domination or anything like that or. Uh, domination over the land. No, he just wants cookies. Yeah, you'll see why. And it all involves that table there. Ooh. <laughs> Did you just reenact the gulp? No. <laughs> I, at first, I thought for a second he just gulped. I'm hey, like, hey, hey he shut up. Too shut up. Shut up. There's no need to cry over spilt milk, kitty. Oh, shit. He's not crying. He's yeah. growling. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna back up now. Damn, I Remember, just looked kids, at this. Right. A real man knows when it's time to run like a little bitch! <laughs> Pretty much. Ethan, your favorite scene. <laughs> what favorite scene? Oh. Did, did I get raped? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. It, oh, oh Birdie time. the Scarecrow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Birdie, Birdie, Birdie. <laughs> You know, it's funny too. In the N64 version, you know, he looks more drunk than he does in the um, Xbox version. I mean, I like the whole graphical detail of um, Conker's fur, you know, actually looking real. But, you know, I don't mind him just being red and flat and then his eyes are like bloodshot. Uh huh. It sounds, I mean, it feels like they really watered this game down a lot. Like the the live and reloaded version. Yeah, they kind of did, especially for facial expressions and stuff like that. And here's Birdie, one of my favorite yeah. characters. Yeah, are you guys able to hear it? <laughs> yeah, I'm able to hear it. Yeah, me too. On my mic? Oh, on your mic, no. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not even fucking watching it anymore. I'm just so pissed. All I know is he's talking to a scarecrow now. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a riveting commentary. Me and Chris are going to be watching this while yes, Eric is yes, going to be watching yes. nothing except something else. <laughs> Ethan and Chris commentate on Conquer while Eric watched Inception. Boom! 
I'm watching you, watching this, watching Inception. Nice. Oh god. That's... Uh, I wish I could multitask like that, but I can't. If I could, if I could multitask Kick like that, I'd be playing come Minecraft. On, on. Kick him in the ass. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Yeah, there's no point of kicking Birdie in the ass anyway. You know, I truly hate being a scarecrow because I don't like sticks being shoved up my ass. <laughs> Although I can't say the same for Chris. Let's... What'd you say? <laughs> I was listening to the conversation <laughs> of the game. <laughs> oh, you'll figure it out later when you listen to the commentary. Uh, yeah, he'll... Now I have to watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I don't know what I'm going to post it up, so... Could be any time. The fuck did he get that can from? Wish everybody quiet. Oh, he wants to hear his favorite line. Mine too. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> context sensitive is sensitive to context. <laughs> I do it one more time and I pull helium out of my ass. Dude, the fuck? One, why is there healing up his ass? And two, why the fuck would he eat it? Oh, he's not eating it. He's in, like inhaling it, but... <laughs> uh, uh, God, that felt good. Uh, there hey, we go. Like Birdie said, context sensitive. It's sensitive to context. So anything he needs at that yeah. point in time is anything he needs at that point in time. Even that means if he pulls it out of his ass. Even if I pull out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Clever. I feel a little better. Green guys, I'm going home. <laughs> That's funny. As soon as he said that line, he was pointing in the other direction on my video. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, now we can finally, you know, continue on and, you know, don't have to work back. Are you crawling? <laughs> I'm showing that you can crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you can crawl in this game? I've never oh, seen a game shit, where you can crawl in. <laughs> you can crawl on all fours? Jesus Christ. Oh. Must own. <laughs> and he's a squirrel. A squirrel that can crawl. What I? Oh my god, did he just pull a tails? Pretty much. He pulls his son by shoving shit up his ass. And then he pulls a tail by using his tail. Yeah, pretty much so. This game is nothing but a ripoff of other games. I love it. That's the, the that's cool the point. point. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the entire and yeah. That's the entire game's existence is to make fun of other things or to rip off of it. I think I think I'm pretty sure Rare knew what they were doing when they wanted to you know have all these you know these movie um stuff in it and whatnot. Uh Context. Oh, uh, to context. I'm having some loading problems. Oh, no, no, it's no, the video. No, it's the, <laughs> no, it's the video, dude. It's just that when you play this game on the Xbox, oh my God, it's a key. Hey, look, it's fucking Harry Potter. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but anyway, in the Xbox version, when you play on an Xbox, usually there's this little loading screen that usually pops up and you know has a loading bar at it. But when you play on the Xbox 360 version, which I recorded it from, it just ends up being, you know, a still frame. I don't know why. Hmm, eeny, meeny, miny. Really? Up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, God, that's, this is, now that's just making fun of Scary Movie now. Hmm, the gun, the knife, the grenade, the banana. The banana! <laughs> God, I haven't seen that movie in forever. And here we come to our first break the fourth wall moment, where he complains that the designers that the designers changed something in the game. Damn it! Damn, you didn't I was hoping about this. Well, how the hell should I know? Because frankly, when I first played this game, I had no idea that you know those guys were actually gonna appear up. Because usually, you just get the frying pan, you hit the key, and then you put it in the door. But then those guys appear. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Maybe the rest this? of the game's Don't different. Don't warn us about the war fourth wall thing, all right? It'll be more funny. Jeff all right, fine. I won't. Uh, I won't talk about the fourth wall thing unless you actually pay Maybe. attention. 
Maybe, I Eric, you should a, actually you play the thing? game. Oh, hello, Mr. Gargoyle. You can think again. You can think again. Oh, you're a real child. Oh, yes, nicely. Yeah, but this gargoyle has a good point, though. Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it gets right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. We know. I love how he has a <laughs> smile after that. After he talks about bitch. <laughs> oh, he's at a bad. Pretty sure it's twit. It's twat. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Twit, twat doesn't matter. Twat is actually uh, what you call it. It's don't don't actually say what it is. Right, fine. <laughs> Let them look it up. <laughs> yeah, you, the viewers. Go ahead and look it up. Go look it up. <laughs> so he's broken the fourth wall now. Pretty much. Conquerception. Rare does that a lot. It breaks Wait, the fourth how wall. did he get that? I don't know. But that's, that's, the, po no that's the power of contact sensitive. He pulls it out of his ass. That would hurt. It's got nails that coming out of it. <laughs> oh, here's another surprise. You can't get past. Or that. I'll kill you. Uh, Was that the N64 version? The rock. Yeah, coin? except the gargoyle, you know, fell off the bridge. Where the fuck did he get that from? He didn't get smashed. Jesus Christ! This guy's a walking armory in his ass. He pressed B. That's where he got it. <laughs> Oh uh, god. His ass is the Iron Man Hall of Armor. Holy shit. <laughs> if that surprises you, just wait till later. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Alright, oh, that's it, the over. end of the movie. Yeah, but that's the end of the part. Uh, well, part two started automatically. Well, <laughs> stop it then. Or at least stop it until at least records. Oh, we're not... But I love this part. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> just pause it for now, because I have to stop this recording. I did, I did. Okay. Yeah. Bye, everybody.